Welcome to Hello America, Millennium Daily News Update. An Israeli strike hit a crowded Palestinian tent camp early to stay in Gaza, killing at least 19 people and wounding 60, Palestinian officials said. Israel said it targeted senior Hamas militants with precise munitions. The overnight strike occurred in Mawasi, a sprawl of crowded tent camps along the Gaza coast that Israel designated as a humanitarian zone for hundreds of thousands of displaced civilians to seek shelter from the nearly year-old Israel. Hamas war, Associated Press video showed three large craters at the scene. First responders dug through the sand and rubble with garden tools and their bare hands using mobile phone. Flashlights until the sun came up. They pulled body parts from the sand, including what? appeared to be a human leg. We were told to go to Mawasi, to the safe area dot 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 look around. You and see this safe place, said I add Hanmodi, who had been sheltering there. Over 140 Ukrainian drones targeted multiple Russian regions. Overnight, including Moscow and surrounding areas, killing at least one person and injuring. Eight, officials said Tuesday, in one of the biggest drone attacks on Russian soil in the two and half year war, a woman died in the town of Romanskoy, just outside Moscow, where drones hit two multi story residential buildings and started fires, Moscow Region Gulf, Andre Vorobiev said, five residential buildings were evacuated due to falling drone debris. Vorobiev said, the attack also prompted the authorities to shut three airports just outside. Moscow, Vnukovo, Domodade Ovo and Zhukovsky, forcing 48 flights to be diverted to other airports, according to Russia's civil aviation authority, Rosaviotsia. The first two airports, which are Russia's second and third busiest, reopened in the morning but Zhukovsky was still Closed in the afternoon because law enforcement officers were dealing with drone debris. There, an airport spokesperson told the Interfax News Agency. The inflation-adjusted median income of U.S. households rebounded last year to roughly its 2019 level, overcoming the biggest price spike in for decades to restore most Americans' purchasing power. The proportion of Americans living in poverty also fell slightly last year to 11.1% from 11.5% in 2022, but the ratio of women's median earnings to man's widened for the first time in more than two decades as man's income rose more than women's in 2023. The latest data came today in an annual report from the Census Bureau, which said the median household income, adjusted for inflation, rose for Percent to dollar eight thousand eight hundred and ten in two thousand and twenty three, up from dollar seventy seven thousand and four hundred fifty in two thousand and twenty two. Apple on Tuesday lost its last bid to avoid paying thirteen billion euros in back taxes to Ireland in a fun alley to a dispute with the European Union that cantered on sweetheart deals that Dublin was offering to attract multinational businesses with minimal taxes across the. 27 nation block. The final decision by the EU's top court was quickly hailed as a landmark victory over corporate greed. Today is a big win for European citizens and for tax. Justice, said European Antitrust Commissioner Margrethe Vestager, whose eight-year fight to impose the measure on the global tech behemoth brought her to tears when she finally heard. She had won. The ruling confirms the European Commission's 2016. Decision, Ireland granted Apple unlawful aid, which Ireland is required to recover, the European Court of Justice said in a press release summarising its decision. A short break from the Hello America, Millennium Daily News, stay tuned.